Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another Iron Man episode on RS3. So I finished all my Crimson Charms, but I couldn't finish all my Blue Charms because I didn't have all the regens for it. So I got a total of 800,000 summoning experience and I'm pretty close to 97 summoning. But I'm going to get into Slayer and let's get some gains in Charms and hopefully summoning regens as well so I can actually use the Charms. I'm sure someone is very mad right now. I got like 150 Desert Strike Worms to kill. Got three Focus Sites. Nice. I already have one though, so it's not really that good. Talking about getting closer to 120 magic, that is 115 achieved, so only five more levels. Well, those five levels is crazy. Like, look at this. I still need 40 million experience, so quite a bit left still. All right, my first item that is siphonable, so let's do that. I'm currently at 400,000 magic and 200,000 slayer. And I always bring the city side, so 3,000 extra farming is not too bad. But let's get 79 invention. Very nice. I don't know if there's anything I get for that, but probably not. Pretty close to 80 at least. The next siphon will be 80, so that is very nice. It's still the perfect Araxi path, which is the 2-3-1 uh, with no spider minions, which is exactly what I need because I already have the top. So I'm going to do just a few Araxor kills in between. That was a 6-30 kill, and I think the 30 seconds, I usually get 7 minute kills, but the 30 seconds might be because I use the Armado Book of Law and I actually activate it. So it is very useful and it's going to get a bit faster Araxor kills with that. So let's see what the first loot is going to be. Very shit. Oh, dude, this book is insane. That is a six-minute kill. Very nice. Let's see what the second loot is going to be. Oh, I thought I was like peace first. Unlucky. Three kills and one trip, and my pack yak is empty, but I have all this food left. I'm still going to bank, though, because I don't want to die. But anyways, third loot is shit. As usual, unlucky. All right, this is going to for sure be the leg piece. Let's just deactivate that real quick. Uh, oh, dude. Okay, whatever. It's some money. It's good for summoning, I guess. Okay, I'll do one more kill after this one, but let's see if we can get a leg piece in these two last kills. Uh, bait it again. Okay, so let's see what the last loot is going to be. Hopefully something good before I get back to Slayer. And the loot is... Oh, a Pheromone! Wait, that is... Okay, no, never mind. I'm still not going to do more Araxor now, but that is very good. That means the next time I do Araxor, I can do like 12 kills. And I need to extend my Penance Aura as well, because otherwise my restores are a bit scarce right now, so... Yeah, that is a very good uh, last loot, actually. I'm doing a Greater Demon task here, and I get a Samurakian Spear. Now, I think I have, like, four of them or something like that, so it's not really a new item or anything, but A, it's an item. I don't know how much this Alex for one... Wait, no. <laughs> I was like, it Alex for one million, but it was just 60k. Unlucky. But, yeah, I'm... 189 Greater Demons left, and my overall Krill kill count is like 1,700 here, so I'm getting pretty close to 2,000, which is very nice. Completed a Reaper assignment for 15 points and 15k Slayer experience. I'm still going to finish these keys that I have in my inventory. And I picked these keys, even though I have like 250 or 300 overall keys in the bank of different types. I choose these keys because I have four different signets currently. The only ones I don't have for a second meaning offhand crossbow is the, uh, what are these called? Quartus and the Quintus one. So if I get a signet here, it is actually useful. So after doing Slayer for like a million experience almost, I got a bunch of Crimson Charms, like a thousand, and I got 300 blue or something like that, which is very nice. But I'm not really getting the secondary regents for summoning, like the Water Talismans and the Fire Talismans or whatever I need. For the Crimson Charms, I just use Yak Hides, so I can just buy that from the store a thousand every day. So there's no problem there, but for the Blue Charms, I need those Talismans and... They don't really drop that much from Slayer, so I think I'm going to have to stop doing that, and I'm going to do PVMing, well, bossing instead. Because Araxor can drop 40 to 70 water talismans, and I need to do Araxor anyways for the tier 90 weapon, so... Unfortunately, it's going to be even more Araxor content, but it is the most efficient way to get the talismans, so I have to do it. This 1 and 3 path is so obnoxious, I really don't like it. Like, look at this kill, 9 minute kill. That shadow thing just takes ages. But let's see what the first loot is going to be. 2 onyxes, very nice. I can't wait until I get the bottom piece, because 10 minute kills is not the most enjoyable thing. Okay, 400k cash, I guess that's decent. Okay, let's see if we can at least get some water talismans. Oh, unfortunately not. Alright, so this is going to be the last kill for today. 
All right, so this is going to be the last kill for now. Let's hopefully get something good. Please, some talismans. Oh, magic seeds. I mean, it's very good farming experience, but it's not really what I need right now. So I actually only have tier 70 magic gear for the most part. I mean, I have the tier 90 gloves and the jewelry, but for the chest, head, and the legs, I only have subjugation. And doing like telos, for example, which gives crazy supplies, magic is really, really good. But I can't really do it effectively because I only have tier 70 gear. I'm going to take so much damage. I mean, it's definitely doable, but I don't want to do it because I'm not that good at telos anyways. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to kill Helvir and I'm going to try to do quite a lot of kills. I'm not that good on Helvir, but after a while I'll obviously get into it. But hopefully I can get a crest or something like that and I can get some better magic gear. So let's get into that. Okay, so I did a Helvir trip and it's pretty easy. I mean, I can easily get the kills with this setup that I have right here. You can see in the inventory, like look at this. 272 Lanta Dimes, that is a pretty sight to see, but I thought, I was looking at the reputation and I have nothing, like literally, and I have this one, that's the only one I have, and if you get all the way here, increase the Seren General's drop by 100%, so currently... I think the crest is a bit less than 1 in 512 because I have the 25%. But if I get it all the way here, it's going to be like 1 in 256 or something like that. And that is obviously double as good as I have now. So I don't really want to do Helvir before I get more reputation. So I'm just going to do Vindicta or something like that. I'm going to claim these tokens for... You can see my reputation on Vindicta is way better. So I have a better chance of getting that lance. But then I'm going to use all those um, well seals or whatever they're called on the Helvir reputation. So then I can get a better chance of getting the actual mage gear from that boss. It's actually such a pain to make these siphons, but I made two just now with the materials I had to be able to siphon the legs and my staff. So this is going to be like a million experience in invention. So I'm going to get 80 for this, which is very nice. That's almost 80 in all stats. I only need rune crafting to 80 to be 80 in every single stat. That is very nice. Let's do the staff now for 600,000 experience. Almost 81. Yeah, pretty close to 81. That is very nice. Oh, dude, come on, An another dormant anima core body. I got another one in the last video as well. That is unfortunate, but I think I have like five of these in the bank now. Yeah, it's pretty sad. A crest would be very nice now, or a dragon rider lance. So I need overloads right now. This is actually my last overload. So I had to go to Bandos just to get more limpho roots to make extreme strength potions. That is the only one I miss. So I'm going to get like 100 or something so I can make 100 overload 3 dose. And that is going to be quite... Uh, Quite good for a lot of PVMing. So I got a Bandos helmet, by the way. That's why I'm recording. Oh, Effigy as my second drop. Actually, probably better than Bandos items anyways. I don't know if I can open this. Fletching and woodcutting? Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> and another one. Okay, back-to-back -back Bandos items. I don't need these, but hey, it's something. I actually got a <laughs> war shield as well and uh, another pair of gloves, but I got 35 limbo roots and on my last trip I think I got 30, so I might be done there. I think that's going to be enough of overloads for a while. I didn't even know this, but meanwhile making my extremes, now I'm going to get 95 herb lore. Only one level that I have to boost now to be able to make overloads, which makes it a lot easier. Alright, I think that's going to be enough. 27 overloads, 6 those, that's going to last at least a while. I actually have no idea how rare these are, but I have two Sarosian essences with this one that I got now, so that is enough for the Saros items to be able to make a tier 85 of one of the items, but I still need two of all the different ones, so yeah. I still need a lot of those, but hey, it's, uh, it's at least a drop. I think that's my number 200 Vindicta kill in two videos, so I'm going to actually... I think I just killed my number 200 Vindicta in two videos, so combined in the last video and this one I've killed a bit more actually than 200, but also I'm going to siphon my staff, that's why I'm recording primarily, because that is 81 invention, pretty nice, still got more charge and I have like 7 siphons overall, so 6 now that I used one, I actually farmed out quite some jewelry and stuff like that so I can make them, which is pretty nice. I'm really not sure how many of these I'm going to get. <laughs> that is my number 6th dormant anima core body. I will never need any more of these by the way.
Okay, you know what? I died on Vindicta after my trip was almost done. I have 12 minutes left on the aura and of course it starts on, on one hour, but I'm going to reclaim my stuff and I'm going to show you guys how many Vindicta kills I have. I currently have 372, so I've done like 250 kills in the past two videos and right now I almost have 10,000 Dragon Bones, oh well 7.7k That is going to be quite a lot of prayer experience and I can use it on bonfires or I can lit a fire and then cremate them for prayer and fire making experience which is really really nice But also I have now almost 200 seals of the Dragon Rider so I'm going to claim them all now and see how much reputation I get Alright, let's have a look. My reputation is currently 390 out of 5000 and if I use all of these on the guy, I'm going to have 1335. So that is quite a lot. Did I get a threshold? I did, so I now have the 50%, that is very nice. I mean, I know that half the video is like Araxor clips, but come on, this is like the best way to get loot on my Iron Man right now, before I get into Telos, and I really want that side, so... A Fang would be very nice now, but anyways, look at the kill time. 5 minutes and 22 seconds. It is path 2 and 3 right now, which is the perfect paths for me, and I also use the Reckless Aura that I just bought. So, my kills are going to be very smooth now. Let's see what the first loot's going to be. Oh, overloads! That is actually not bad at all. And blue charms I need for summoning. Okay, leg piece this time. Oh, you logs. Third kill with uh, some Hydrix ball tips. Nice. That is as far from a leg piece as you can get. I mean, I'm still get. I mean, I'm still getting decent kill time. Six and a half minutes with penance aura, so no damage increase at all. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, oh, black dragon hides. Come on, man. I don't want more of these, I've got so many from Vindicta. Please give me a leg piece. Nope. Okay, Lanta Dimes. I have like 2000 Lanta Dimes in the bank actually, so not really in need of more of those right now. Okay, for me now it is getting kind of risky. This is a 150% enraged kill. Let's see what uh, we get for loot. Okay, Hydrox Ball Tips. I'm still going to try to get maybe one or two more kills, but at this point I'm taking a lot of damage. Okay, I got comboed for 7,000 damage. <laughs> what the? Okay, that was on 160% enrage. So that is going to do it for Araxor now. And I'm not going to do any more Araxor in this video, I promise. No more Araxor loot here. You know what? Something I didn't even think about is that you can make these rune minotaurs for... What summoning level is it? It's pretty high. It's for blue charms at least. These ones. And they require one blue charm, which is... Well, the ones I want to use, and then one rune bar and 100 shards. Now, runeite ore is only for level 50 now, and you can just mine here, and I have these spirits. And it should be pretty easy to get a lot of rune bars. I, I don't know why I didn't think about this. I didn't think about the whole mining rework and all that. So this is probably going to be pretty easy to get. I think I have like a 1000 blue charms or something, so let's get into that. Alright then, so with all the talismans that I have, which is like, what, 150 of them or something, I should be able to finish all my blue charms now, because I have 1086 rune bars. Let's get it. I put a counter up here, by the way, but give me that 97 summoning. Hell yeah. So I finished all the blue charms, but I still have 740 crimsons, so let's get into that, and hopefully I will get over a million experience, which would be pretty nice on the counter. Alright, these are the last ones, and I did get over a million now, almost 1.2 million summoning experience, and look on the meter up here, I am really close to 90, what am my character doing? Alright, I'm really close to 98 summoning, 50k, but I'm not going to get that right now, because that is all my crimsons and all my blue charms, and I don't really want to dig into my green charms, it's uh, not very good experience. So, even though I wanted to get 99 summoning in this video, I got pretty close to 98, and that's going to have to do it. And I have a lot of these Pakyak poachers now, 2.2k, and I don't need these Rune Minotaur poachers at all. I can get like, I can take like 1,500 of these because I will make even more of them later on anyways, and I'm going to uh, turn them into Spirit Shards because I have nothing left right now in terms of Spirit Shards, like 30k, and I have, what, 300,000 coins, so I really need this. Let's uh, swap them in and see how much we get. 70,000 for those, and 292k with all the Pakyak ones. Alright, that is going to do it for this video, and by the way, maybe someone here noticed it when I was doing Araxor. I am using Onyx Bolt's E as my ammo for Araxor. 
Yeah, they are actually very good. What the effect is, you can see the item bonus. Life leech, 10% chance to heal you for 25% of the damage potential, capping up at 2.5k and then 25% more damage. That damage bonus is actually really nice and I really cannot be arsed alking these items. So I'm going to just keep using them and I'm going to enchant these later on as well. But anyways, that is going to do it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it and I'll see you in the next one guys. Take care. Hopefully I can get a 99 in the next one.